I just find they're like the tastiest, quickest, sugariest, delicious, most amazing snack. Give or take one or two minutes, but 8.40, we're in the car. Perfectly, perfectly on time, like clockwork. Um, if this is making no sense to you guys, then watch my last week's video about my Monday morning routine. Uh, I got one minute to chill now, and then I'm in to see my counselor, so see you guys on the other side. Back in the car, 8.50, a little bit late, but to the coffee shop. Should be there in about six minutes. Just arrived at the coffee shop. It is 10.01. Talk to me about clock. Soy flat white, but actually it's a soy cappuccino today because they fill up the milk too much. We're really going off piece today. <laughs> so those of you guys that are like, uh, like who've seen last week's episode and you're like, you know, but Ollie, you said you have such a rigorous Monday routine and, and like that's the whole point of it and why are you deviating from that? Like. I mean, I didn't really deviate it from that much, and it wasn't really my fault. It's, it was, uh, it was, it was a, a mistake. Uh, but actually, it's great coffee either way. I digress. I'm going off piece. Um, it having this routine doesn't mean that you have to stick to it every. Because at the end of the day, it's what you want to do. It's something that helps you. It's, it's there. It's put in place to benefit you during the week and, and, and your start of the week. And so if one day I want to sit at the coffee shop and not take it away, I'll do that. It's like, it's, 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 it's my decision. If one day I want to have an Americano, I'll do that. I haven't, but if I want to, I will, if I feel the need. Because above all, what this routine gives me is not something that I strictly have to do, even if I don't want to. It's not like a habit or like a ritual. It's, it's more like, it gives me a place to start from. So I know whether to go up or down, I know whether to go cappuccino or this or that, or however I want to start the week, it gives me a baseline. So I know where I'm at. It's fresh, you know. You're know. using two different frying pans. Seems a little bit excessive, but as it's <laughs> for my breakfast, I can't really complain. <laughs> You can do it with one slice, like this, look. Just trying to do that thing where it pops up and you catch it, but... Monday. I got a, I did a really big workout on um, over the weekend and everything hurts now. I always have like a massive workout just before I start tapering and that's what I'm doing at the moment um, is tapering uh, before the competition. If you guys don't know what tapering is, I have Google. Becoming thinner or narrower towards an end process of gradually lessening or reducing something. So what I'm doing is, and what I do every time I, I have a competition, is for about three or four days, occasionally five if I'm feeling extremely exhausted, I will taper like my training and my workouts before I fly out to the event. Uh, mainly so that my body can recover and generally just so I can kind of get a bit of headspace between all the training that I've done and then performing and like putting it down in the competition. So usually I I find with my body that it works quite well when I taper for a long period of time, like 
I know some people who just don't do it at all. Like Gemma, for example, my, my, my teammate, she is like not a taperer. She will like have lessons on the on like leading up, like the day before she's taking a flight and stuff like that and spar and I just don't do well with that kind of stuff. Personally, like I find I, I, I get very, it takes my body a, a bit more time to heal and get back to strength. So I find if I, if I take like five days off, four days off, I come back real strong, which is what I always do. So at the moment we're, we're, we're flying out to Pisa in two days. Today's Monday. We're flying out on Wednesday, so we've got a couple of days, and we start to compete on Friday. Friday's first day of competition. So, got a little bit of time. I also like to just have that mental space of just like feeling like, I mean like, by the time I get to Pisa, I haven't fenced for like five days, I'm like, I really want to fence. And so that's like a really good feeling, is like I go into it like really enthusiastic, like something that I really want to do, I'm like missing it. So that's always good, because it helps like keep the spirit high, and it's, it, it helps me have fun, and I fence the best one I'm having fun. So that's pretty much it at the moment. I, I honestly, I'm not doing that much interesting stuff. I'm, I'm pretty much just hanging out. When I taper, I literally just take it easy, go for coffees, do some editing, chill, watch movies, and sleep. Um, that's pretty much it. It's not that interesting to vlog, but what I'll do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little question series later because a couple of you guys have been asking a couple of questions that I want to get to, uh, and and so we can talk about a couple of those things. Also, I wanted to open up and say, if you guys did want to ask me questions, throw them down in the comments. I can do a question time um, in the next couple of days or when I get enough questions. Otherwise, otherwise there there, there, there are no questions to answer. But uh, I'll catch you in a second. It's a it's a terrible day. Check it out. It's currently about 4 p.m., which means it's coffee time. Four, two days till I fly out, which means I need to sort out my SIS gel fuel, the little energy things that we take before, during, and after. It's all very confusing. Basically, it's like energy to, so we can perform really well during the competition. Okay. Just to take you guys through this, because I thought you might find it mediocrely interesting. Also, because when I'm tapering, I'm not really doing that much. So this is just one of the things I do to prepare for the competition. So each day, because I have three days of competition, I have a bag. So what I need is one of these lime electrolyte goes. That's for during the competition. Then I need one of these recover for after the competition and then one of these for an hour before the competition so three little powder businesses then I take two isotonic gels for during the competition no one isotonic gel for during the competition one electrolyte gel for during the competition and one caffeine gel that is one day plus maybe like a little bar of energy. That for me is one day's competition, so that's day one. I'm really bad at like nutrition and stuff. I literally just eat like gummy bears during competition. <laughs> I just find they're like the tastiest, quickest, sugariest, delicious, most amazing snack. So I'm a big, big gummy bear guy. Um, anyway, what I wanted to do is I wanted to talk briefly because today's a little bit of a relaxed day. It's um, day before I start packing, two days before I fly out to, to the World Cup. So I, I really like to take it easy on these days. I hope you guys understand it's going to be a very talky video. But in that, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, questions. I wanted to just go over a couple that had been asked in the comments over the last couple of videos that I mentioned that I would get back to. And this is not to say that I can't, I, you know, maybe I can talk more about them in the future videos if it's something you want me to go more into depth in. 
But there were two that really stuck out to me. Stuck out to me. First one. A couple of days ago when I was talking about business class flights, first class flights, because I've been upgraded to a first class flight for um, for Brazil. I was asked, I was asked, ah, is it an upgrade that Air Miles give you because of your medical history or did you have to pay for the business class price? Okay, good question. I, uh, I have to pay for it essentially. Um, every single time I pay for it, I collect a lot of Air Miles so sometimes I can actually like upgrade myself but it's something that comes off my back. If it's though, for example, like a flight of like two, three hours, like when I go into Pisa in two days, I don't fly business because it's it's like two or three hours, so it's okay. I can deal. I can deal with that. It's only if it's like over three to four to five to six to eight to twelve, those kinds of times when my leg just swells up. It gets so painful. I can't sleep, and then I'd arrive there in a real bad condition to compete. So they're the only times I do it, and I do have to pay. This is the first time that I've actually got an upgrade from business to to first, which which is awesome. But I was gonna fly business. I was gonna have to pay for that. Second question. Second question was a really easy one about two days ago. What's your full-time work? This is pretty much it. Um, you're kind of seeing it. I, I fence full-time. I get a little bit of sponsorship money from Team Sports Aid UK. Uh, and that's pretty much it. I make videos for you guys, which is what you're seeing right now. And I, I run my YouTube, my Instagram rather, which I put a lot of effort into. And I really try and address more like of the stigma that surrounds disability on that and incite social change. It's more of a regular thing, although recently this has been extremely regular. So that's pretty much it. I just, I'd say run a social media. I've, I'm trying to set up my own media production company to do with all this like camera and video making stuff that I really enjoy doing. Uh, run the YouTube and fence full time. That's pretty much me at the moment. I've not gone into architecture, which is what I actually studied to do and become. I just thought, you know, this is cooler and this is what I want to do more. So I just do that. I hope that answers your questions. If you have any more, chuck it in the comments and I could do like a, a Q&A answer time uh, when I'm at the airport on Wednesday. See you guys in a bit. Actually, speaking of which, I might conclude today's episode there because th I really don't have much planned for the rest of the day. But if I don't, then I'll see you in four seconds. If not, I'll see you tomorrow.